We've moved into autumn now and uh, it's been an interesting summer. But what we've seen this week again is some very uh, mild weather. The weather won't see uh, fire danger ratings uh, move into the very high. We expect the highest will be high fire danger rating across the state. So it's a, day, it's a week um, that is, is nothing of significant fire weather for Victoria. It's also worth to note that uh, moving into this, the shorter days, but we've still got really dry conditions in some parts of Victoria. Some parts of Victoria just haven't had the rain. So parts of central Victoria and across into the west of the state, it's still there dry, available to burn. And I suppose the message is that we haven't got a significant week this week, but that's not to say we can't bring the weather back, the hot, the dry, the windy weather that can see fires run around during March. So I think it's now about staying attuned to your conditions locally, understanding the potential. And if we do go back into that, uh, that hot, dry and windy weather, we can have fires. The Dereal fire two years ago burnt the last week of March and we saw houses being lost in that afternoon. So it's not as if it can't happen but it will be one of those one day wonders, an afternoon where the winds and the temperatures will be um, significant. So that's the message. Autumn, enjoy it, um, a quiet period. This is the last of the regular weekly updates uh, and we've certainly uh, enjoyed the fact that we can present this in a fairly practical way to give out people out there an understanding of what really is happening for the week. And uh, it's not a time to relax, but it's certainly a time to know that it's milder conditions, uh, but it is dry in some parts of Victoria. So thank you.